हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग फोर सेट्स ऑफ मैप्स एफ फ्रॉम जेड टू क्यू देन ऑप्शन वन एफ जेड टू क्यू सर्स दैट एफ इज बाइजेक्टिव एंड इंक्रीजिंग ऑप्शन टू द मैपिंग एफ इज ऑन टू एंड इंक्रीजिंग ऑप्शन थ्री The mapping f is bijective and satisfies that for all n less than equal to zero, f n greater than is equal to zero. And map four, f is on to and decreasing. Then how many of these sets are empty? Now, option the statement one is not possible. As z is well ordered. And Q is not. Similarly, option two is not possible because of the same reason as Z is well ordered and Q is not. Now, option three. Now, since F is bijective, and n less than equal to zero, and F n tends to, and F n greater than is equal to zero. This is possible where z plus tends to q minus, and z minus tends to q plus. So statement three is correct, and statement four, f is on to and decreasing. This is not possible since q is not well ordered. So we have three empty sets. The empty sets are in one, two, and four. So the correct answer is option D. The next question is: Let f be a function which is continuous. Then, which of the following statements implies that f zero is equal to zero? Now, option A: Limit n tends to infinity, where limits range from zero to one, f x to the power n d x. Well, we can't conclude anything about this because. Say f zero point five, uh, f zero point seven five, and all these may have various values, and raised to the power infinities, the infinity, the values may become extremely large, and this may not be equal to zero. So option A is incorrect. Option B, limit n tends to infinity, f x by n d x is equal to zero. Let us define a function g n x. Is equal to f x by n. Now, for limit n tending to infinity, g n x becomes f x by infinity, which is zero, since x ranges from zero to one in our limits. And integrating the whole thing. Where your function is zero, integrating it over the limits gives you zero. So option B is correct. Again, option C, f n x d x. Well, when n tends to infinity, you can't necessarily say what the value of f n x would be, and this could be very large and may not be equal to zero. So option B is the correct answer.